You're watching Fox 5 News. A local model opens up about an audition that she says was a trap for human trafficking. Fox 5's Christina Odencial brings us her story, her warning, and what is being done to help make modeling safer for men and women. The modeling industry. Competitive, cutthroat, and bookings are hard to come by. And if the unknown of when you might book another gig wasn't stressful enough, so is the fear of what could happen behind closed doors. It was exciting for me. I'm like, oh my goodness, like this could be my break. Hannah Hoya has modeled for years, and she too was eager to land a job that would launch her into supermodel stardom. But during one audition in Los Angeles. He said the wait was long inside the audition room, um, but if I'm willing to have another audition that day uh, for a movie role. It's going to be actually at the guest house right next door, but before I take you there, I just got to ask you some questions. Do I have a boyfriend? Am I willing to do this and that? Different like sexual questions. Appalled, the 29 year old excused herself to grab something out of her car. So I go in the car and I just start bawling. With the Me Too movement fresh on her mind, she thought the supposed casting director would ask for inappropriate favors. But as it turns out, it was much worse than that. Breaking news, Los Angeles. That same man I saw face to face was actually kidnapping young girls, models for human trafficking and pornography. It's very hard with those statistics of 30 to 70 percent. You know, you talk to a few models and you're going to hear a lot of those stories. Years ago, Mark Willingham had the idea to revolutionize the modeling industry and launch the app Agent. It's time that it becomes more transparent, more efficient and safer, better for the models and absolutely better for the clients. Willingham stresses the app's transparency for the safety of both models and clients. The client can't even book a model on agent before they apply and the application process requires a criminal background check, sex offender check, ID verification and verification of need. This year in San Diego alone, two cases made headlines. Carlsbad photographer Robert Coaster pleaded guilty to rape and possession of child pornography after being charged for luring young girls to a studio for modeling sessions before sexually assaulting them. In August, three men behind the website Girls Do Porn were accused of luring beginner models jobs only to find out they were pornography shoots. They now face sex trafficking charges among others. The San Diego District Attorney's Office says 55 human trafficking cases with sex trafficking involvement have been filed in the last year alone. 42 of those cases were convicted. I've had guy friends too that have been, you know, cornered in an office and been solicited. There's situations that come up pretty often. Alexander Davignon is one of 30,000 models who've signed up so far an agent and says both female and male models can be subject to lewd acts or favors. And this is where the agent apps transparency makes all the difference. They vet models and they vet the companies that are going to be involved and having some sort of policing buffer in between and another person that's in the conversation changes a lot. Apart from its obvious safety features, Agent also gives quick and easy access to a diverse selection of models across 10 major cities. We use artificial intelligence, machine learning, predictive analytics, and things that really allow us to do things that human beings can't do. So we allow clients and companies to find models literally in minutes versus what might take days or, or sometimes weeks. Christina Odencial, Fox 5 News. And there is a re age requirement right now. You have to be 18 or older in order to use that app. We have a link to it on our website, Fox 5 San Diego, and click on the scene on tab.